Anyone that's played Expert Realism in Left 4 Dead 2 can tell you that it is brutal. So brutal, in fact, that the achievement for completing a single campaign on this mode is just as rare as beating every campaign on Expert alone. You either have to be really skilled or really dumb to put yourself through this. But you see, I am incredibly dumb. And that's why today, I'll be attempting Expert Realism by myself on all five of the game's campaigns. And you know what? We're getting the gnome too. Welcome to Solo Expert Realism, a difficulty that I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. Along with the ridiculous infected spawn rates and heavy hitting damage of Expert, we also have to worry about the Realism modifier. With this turned on, enemies take half as much damage to the body, dead teammates can no longer respawn in restrooms, and outlines around almost everything important have disappeared. So will I be able to do this and rescue our gnome friend without losing my mind, or will I fail spectacularly? Well, there's only one way to find out. I mean, hey, what's up for not? It has been a little- No! Ah! Run! Every no, wait, there's even more enemies! Don't heal me! Wait, I can't move! <laughs> Nick! <laughs> this is not looking promising. We begin our journey with Dead Center, where we have to navigate through a city to reach our escape vehicle in a shopping mall. I chose to start with this campaign because I remembered it being the easiest, and at least initially, this seemed to be the case. I had a few hiccups due to the fact that I couldn't get my controller sensitivity working on PC. <laughs> I, I might have turned it down a little too much there. But even turning at Mach negative 10 wasn't enough to stop me from finishing the chapter. After that, I switched over to mouse and keyboard, and got a big ego. I thought to myself that this challenge was going to be far easier than everyone made it out to be. Then I started chapter two. Oh no. Ooh! <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you know, we tried our best and that's truly what matters, you know what I mean? <laughs> Everything is on fire and I don't know why. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, of course. Uh, of course. No, you ass! <laughs> uh, okay, well. <laughs> Don't exactly have a range there. <laughs> this chapter showed me how expert realism earned its reputation. Hordes and special infected are just constantly spawning, and it takes way more time to kill anything. Because of this, I ended up dying a lot in the first half of the chapter. But somehow things got even more tricky whenever I got to this part. Surely there's a safe room in here, right? Like I'm not I'm not crazy. Don't you dare do what I think you're gonna do. No! Damn it! Oh, it is. Okay. It is a whole that section. Oh my god. Ah, uh, pain. The special event for this chapter requires you to bring a case of cola back to the gun shop. And it sucked! The entrance to the store gets flooded with never ending infected, so shooting and bashing always ended worse for me than the final season of Game of Thrones. I found that the only way to beat this section was by finding a distraction item and using it as you make a break for it. Even then, however, victory definitely wasn't guaranteed. Onward! I only have one pipe bomb. One pipe bomb in a dream, chat. Oh, this is a lot less. Fuck you. Oh, okay, that's not good. <laughs> Uh, Boomer Vial would have been better. Boomer Vial, definitely better. Oh, no. There is no shot. <laughs> what do I even do in this situation? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> so, yeah, this was pretty bad. But what makes it even worse is that even when you get the cola, there's still one more thing you have to do. This is the farthest I've made it. I'm not gonna do anything dumb. Oh, dude, how is there still more? I can do it. How are there so many infected? Holy shit. That's not good. What? Are you? I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. No! Dude, what do you mean? I was moved. That's so stupid. First act, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Don't remind me. Dude, honestly, if we can beat this mission, I'll call this a successful day. <laughs> this is how bad it's gotten at this point. Okay. Oh, we're going to fucking kill myself. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> if there's a tank that spawns chat, I think I'm actually going to have an aneurysm. Okay, maybe I'm not booking it. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Where, though? Oh, behind us. 
That's good. That's okay with me. I'm going this way now. Wait, what? Whoa! Get me. Get him. No, Nicholas. Nicholas, not like this. Oh. Yes! We're done with the mission! Fuck you, Nick, for trying to sabotage me! <laughs> Somehow, on the second go-round, I was able to slip past the tank and finally move on to Chapter 3. It should be noted that if a teammate is killed in the last chapter, they'll respawn with half health in the following chapter, making it a strategic decision to unalive them if they're below the threshold. I personally didn't care, though. I just wanted to kill him for being morons and throwing all my runs. After the cola catastrophe, I thought I had finally made it past the worst this campaign had to offer. But holy shit, was I wrong. What happens? Uh oh, I'm gonna get murdered. No! Come on! Wait, I'm getting dragged so far. Whoa! Just team? Teammates? Teammates? Hello? Oh, okay, so this is, this is just what's gonna happen then, yeah? Cool, great. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna call it there. <laughs> This chapter, by some cruel twist of fate, was even worse than the last one. It was actually so bad that I spent an entire day on this level and still didn't beat it. You might be wondering how that's possible. Well, this is me we're talking about, so I don't know why you're surprised at this point. But other than that, I think I'll let the gameplay speak for itself. Hey, where's the... <laughs> I wonder where the charger is. <laughs> hmm. Chat. I hear a charger noise, but I, I cannot particularly determine where it's coming from. Behind me. Behind? Above me. Oh, you know, I do kind of hear it above me. You, you might be onto something here. Thank you, Chad. Whoa! <laughs> ah, damn. All right, that's what I get, I guess. Despite a lot of things killing me here, the gatekeeper was once again the special event. All I had to do was ascend to the top floor and shut off the alarm. The spawn point for the never-ending horde, however, was in the alarm room, making the door to it the bane of my very existence. Oh, there's the horde. I probably shouldn't have used my... Oh, no! I'm so mad. What is going on, bro? They don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Get to the ground and they never stop running. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Christ. Hoping for the best. It didn't work. <laughs> This is just an impenetrable wall of things happening! <laughs> oh, we need to run. Oh, no. Fuck, I knew- No! Why am I in the goo, man? Just gotta go. I mean, there's- there's no other way. Where was that one? She actually appeared out of nowhere. Oh, okay, it's GG. Uh, classic. Very classic. Once again, a distraction item is key to breaking through here. But even on the attempt I did, there's always a chance for the game to keep you humble. Get me out! Please! Why, man? Just hang on. Oh, Nick, where the f did you get that? No, Nick! Help, 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 no, 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 now is the time. Now is the time, Nicholas. Oh, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. You're the best. I love you. Another spitter. No, please! Wait, no one's getting me! No, they're fucking stuck behind the spitter goo! <laughs> oh, dude, why is there so much level left after that? <laughs> Even though I literally made no progress on day two, I felt pretty good on day three. It didn't have to do with the game, mind you, that that was a lost cause to me. It was actually because I finally got my Ridge Wallet in the mail, who I somehow convinced to sponsor this video. This thing is sick. As someone who doesn't use cash often, it's really nice to have a compact alternative to a big leather wallet. This bad boy can also come in over 30 different styles, and has RFID blocking technology to help protect yourself against any digital pickpocketers. The coolest thing about this thing though, is that Ridge is genuinely so confident in its wallet's durability that they offer a lifetime warranty for it as well. So if you want to give your wallet an upgrade, check out the link in the description or use my code on screen to get 10% off your purchase. Thank you again to Rich for sponsoring, and now back to me horribly failing at Left 4 Dead. Day 3 picked right back up where Day 2 left off. 
there were incredibly stupid things that happened, and there were incredibly stupid deaths that happened. Eventually, however, I was able to get on another good run. I made it through the mall, up the stairs, and turned off the alarm. I thought that this was definitely the one, but there was one thing that I didn't account for in my final moments, and that was map knowledge. Is also very much a hunter, like... No! Run, idiots! <laughs> This is not what we're doing, right? God damn it. Well, I mean, I guess there's only one way to go. I, oh, okay. I don't know how that worked out, but I'll take it. Dude, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do at this point. I went the wrong way. I didn't know which way to go. <laughs> no! Why is it the other direction? That's so unlucky. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> For those unaware, if I had turned left at the top of the escalator instead of right, I would have made it to the safe room and completed the chapter, making this the most heartbreaking death thus far. There was one thing that I hadn't tried yet though. In between streams, I was told that the horde coming from the alarm room is wave-based. Theoretically, that meant if I just held out until the end of each wave, I could slowly but safely fight my way up to the alarm. Let's see how that worked out. The there it is. Okay, let's hold a little bit here. Nope. 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 Don't hit Rochelle. All right, I'll just be in charge of like getting him off of everyone. Oh no. Oh, now I'm slowed. No, I didn't mean to hit Coach. God damn it, he moved in the way. All right, we move now. You, god damn it. No, what? They're all dead, bruh. All right, well. Uh, no. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, fuck, dude. I was told on Twitter, you know, there's breaks in between them. It didn't seem like there was a single break there. <laughs> Today's lesson, never learn anything new. True. Be stuck in your old ways, chat. Never learn. Learning is for suckers, apparently. By this point, I had spent almost six hours on this chapter alone. I genuinely thought that completing this level was going to take a miracle, but something had to give eventually, and it sure as hell wasn't gonna be me. Go, go, go! Wait. No! Are you kidding me? Nick, please. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. We got another run going. What? Dude, how are you not dead? I don't understand it. Please hit me and not Nick, thank you. No, no, uh, Nick, I can't move. I hope the bile bomb just continues, man. I'm so slow. Please don't get killed by the goo. The jockey too. F. Fuck you! Hey. I am at one HP. Looks I can't move. I am not gonna make it. Uh, yes! Oh my fucking god, it's over! <laughs> as long as like Nick dies. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I thought the jockey would got me for sure. Oh I'm free. I had finally beaten this godforsaken chapter with one HP in a dream. The American dream. And what better place to celebrate that than the consumer paradise that is the final chapter of the campaign. The Central Mall. Oh wait, they can't pick up any gas. I have to pick up all eight gases. Fuck. <laughs> For this finale, I had to grab eight gas canisters from various locations and fill up the car on the ground floor. This was initially pretty rough, especially when the tank spawned in to block my path. Maybe we can use one of these gas canisters to my advantage then. Unless he spawned right- Ah, he's upstairs. Okay, great. Why me? <laughs> yep, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I, he's just gonna kill me. Yeah, shit. <laughs> okay, well, that's an unfortunate place to spawn, that's for sure. <laughs> there was absolutely no way I could keep my band of merry morons alive long enough for us to defeat this thing. Fortunately, the success of the American Dream from last chapter caused me to come into possession of a staple of high-end American culture. Drugs. Hell yeah, drugs, baby! Opium. All right, they just need to protect me, surely. 
They can do that. Let's go! Let's go, let's go drugs! We love drugs! We love... Okay, that's probably gonna get demonetized. Let's go, though! With that, Dead Center was finally done after 58 deaths. For reference, when I did all four of Left 4 Dead 1's campaigns on Expert, it took me a total of 57. So if you're wondering how hard this is, this works pretty well as a reference. Most of my deaths here obviously came from Chapter 3, but somehow that was only the third hardest level I had to go through. And we'll get to the other two later. In the meantime though, it was time to start up Swamp Fever. This was also a four chapter campaign, however this one started off a bit more challenging than our previous one did. Oh my god. No! Get him! Get him off! 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 Get him off. Shit. That's not good. That's bad. That's very bad. Damn it. No! Someone shoot! Yeah, Alright. Well. <laughs> oh, that's not ideal. <laughs> The thing that stopped my progress dead in its tracks was this little boat here. Calling it over triggers the horde, and you have to hold out somewhere as you wait for it to dock. Holding out in front of the boat never seemed to work out for me, and holding out in the attic nearby somehow worked even worse. Let's go- Oh no! <laughs> Why are they up here? <laughs> I don't like this. This is- this is- this is- this is not what I was hoping for. When I- what, oh, they're all down again. Where is everyone? No, God, a smoker kid! How is there always a smoker? <laughs> Eventually, I was able to find a spot behind this counter that worked well enough. But even then, there was still a chance of some snags in my master plan. <laughs> Fucking hate this game. The moment I start having a good run, this happens! What purpose does this serve? <laughs> Despite the game doing everything possible to sabotage me, I made it on the boat and finished the level. After having that much trouble with Chapter 1, I was expecting the worst with Chapter 2. This one involves you working your way through a swamp and triggering an alarm halfway through. The slowing effect of the mud here made me incredibly pessimistic about my chances. So imagine the surprise of me and everyone who bet channel points on me dying a bunch when this was the first chapter this entire playthrough I got on my first try. Dude, where do I go? This way? Oh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, <holy. laughs> hmm. I happen to remember reading Atlesian's chat saying this is the easiest doubts of my life. You all heard it. Say yes in chat right now. Interesting. Very interesting. I just find it very interesting. I'm sorry for single you out, Alicia. This is very funny. <laughs> You're totally fine. Your points being stolen from you is enough of a victory for me. <laughs> I was over the moon when this happened, especially after hearing that this was arguably the hardest mission in this entire campaign. I am still playing on expert realism though, so my happiness, unfortunately, couldn't last forever. Uh oh, this is this is a charger setup if I've ever seen it. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Ah! Oh my god, there's so much happening. Oh my, what? What happened? Oh, oh. This is not good. Oh, and the hunter's still here. Great. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Can't win them all, I suppose. <laughs> The trickiest part in this chapter is easily the plank section. It's not the same plank that pirates used back in the Caribbean, but it served the same purpose. And that was leading poor souls to their demise. Literally fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, there's a jockey literally right underneath me. What? Are you fucking... Where? <laughs> Snam, watch out for that charger. Ah, oh, Kramer, thank you. Once I was able to find both an adrenaline shot and a boomer bile, however, this chapter ended up being pretty simple. This victory led me into the final chapter. The accomplishment was supposed to be a positive thing, but instead it just led to more chaos. Is that a... Yeah, that's a horde. God damn it. Dude, what the hell? Why is there always a horde like instantly? <laughs> Bro, like, I, I, we literally just started. Uh, God damn it. What the fuck? A poltergeist? Oh, this is spooky. Uh oh, <laughs> hold on. I'm about to get jump scared by something completely different. Whoa! 
Dude, where the fuck? What the <laughs> What? <laughs> the finale for this campaign requires you to hold out in a plantation house. The spot that works best for me was upstairs in this corner. Zombies could only come from two linear directions, which made it way harder for my AI teammates to throw the runaway. That is, so long as Throw Shell, Celis, and Dick could actually handle their direction. Got him. They can only come up from one direction, team. Get him. I don't know how the hell I made that work. Uh oh. What? How? Wait, what the? How are you guys losing to One Direction? Harry Styles can't even put up that hard a fight, man. I could take Niall Horan in my sleep. I'm not gonna back down from that opinion, by the way. It's also worth mentioning that the mansion has a lot of equipment to help stave off your enemies. It would have been really convenient to not run down the stairs every time I needed something, but unfortunately, there's no button to drop said equipment. Trust me, I tried. Select pistol, explosive first aid. It's like team message of the day. <laughs> what is the message of the day, actually? Message of the day. Hmm. Very wise, actually. I, I, I really relate to this one. It's exactly how I feel on the inside. Empty. All right, well, uh, that's pretty motivational. I still don't know how to drop fucking items though, which kind of sucks. That meant all I had at my disposal was some AI that welcomed zombies with open arms and equipment that was too far to reach. Either way though, I was going to keep operating until I cured this swamp fever. Damn it. Uh, this is not exactly go the way I planned. I'm not gonna lie to you, Chad. This probably could be going better. What, no! <laughs> all right, yeah, that's not great. Okay, I need to leave Rochelle down. I feel like that's the move. I'm dead. <laughs> no! Ah, uh, tough. I am focused. I am so hard focused right now, chat. You have no idea. Well, you probably have an idea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a chance. Nicholas? Nicholas, don't you die on me. Chat, where is the fucking escape? <laughs> you need to tell me right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna die, right? Whoa! Yes! Dude, oh my God, I can't actually believe we did it. Let's go, that's two campaigns done, baby. With the infected, tanks, and my teammates now six feet underground, campaign two of five was now done. To finish off the day, I decided to scout out the third campaign, which was Hard Rain. The gimmick for this one was that halfway through the campaign, you have to go back through the chapters you already completed, but in reverse. I didn't know what to expect danger-wise here, but my initial findings weren't exactly very promising. What happens if I just keep moving? Is someone following me? No. Okay. Garage sale. I love gar Boys, I'm down. Guys, I don't think that was a garage sale. <laughs> Foster traffic? Oh yeah, I did get hit by a car last time. I should hold on. Let me show you how to cross the road, okay? First you gotta look left. Reloading. Then we're gonna look to the right, okay? It looks like there are no cars coming, so we should be able to safely cross the street. As you can see- Oh, Stranger danger! Okay, we're fine. Baseball. Bro, how, Alice? Tell me how you are already- Right. <laughs> Got it. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. <laughs> and so, with the lack of safety now documented, it was time to retire for the day and try again tomorrow. The first attempt of day six actually started off pretty well, and I almost made it to the safe room before being swarmed. The second attempt wasn't nearly as successful. Oh. What? Dude, please, someone knock me down. I hate you all. <laughs> You're all the f***ing worst! However, failing the first attempt may have been a blessing in disguise, as attempt three resulted in the rare chapter in which everyone finished it relatively healthy. After that, it was on to the next one. I was hoping, since I finished the last chapter so quickly, that I could make a good amount of progress this stream. That didn't end up happening. And the reason for that is simple. 
Chapter 2 of Hard Rain is the second hardest chapter in the entire game. Stay away, witches on the building. Wait, really? Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. In this level, the witches that usually spawn once or twice a chapter were now scattered everywhere throughout the area. You can try to avoid them all you like, but I seriously cannot stress enough the everywhere part. I should probably take the drugs, but I also am a greedy, grimy little boy, so I might just not do it and do that instead. Why are you not distracted? What the? No! Are you fucking- All right, well, that's what I get for being a greedy, grimy little boy. Drugs! It's my only chance. 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 <laughs> Help me! <laughs> this is this is somewhat unfortunate. Oh, ah, there's a. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> it would appear as though <laughs> we probably weren't gonna win that one. <laughs> I felt like alerting witches was going to be a common theme this chapter, so in an effort to provide even greater incentive not to, I told chat to call anyone who provoked one a misogynist from now on. This should have been fine since I thought everyone on the team was an ally until I realized that Coach wasn't who I thought he was. No! No, 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 Oh, we, uh, all right, well, someone's dying. All right, Coach is a misogynist. Coach, God! Damn it! Uh oh, <laughs> of course it was Coach. How is it always him, Chat? This is like actually canon at this point. Aside from Coach not being able to treat women with respect, there were a lot of other things in this chapter that really held me up. Firstly, the AI don't work well in open areas with lots of infected. As you can probably assume, there were a lot of these in this level, so it was really hard to survive once we got to one of them. Next is the fact that this chapter is long. It took around 10 minutes per try, and by the time we made it two thirds of the way through, everyone was already gravely injured or dead. Where is my team? Where is my team? I would like some teammates or not. Okay, well, they're all dead. <laughs> cool. The thing that killed every run the moment I got to it though was the elevator. This is a section where you have to hold out until an elevator slower than a dead turtle makes its way to your floor. Like I said before, everyone was already on death's door by this point. So that, along with the chances of a witch and a tank to spawn here, made this feel impossible. Where is the tank? This is so miserable! <laughs> Such a miserable life we live. Why do I play this video game? <laughs> Okay, everyone's dead. Yeah, I saw that one coming. There's the tank. I don't know if I get hit by this actually. Oh wait. What? Oh, that was the tank. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Well, okay, well, I mean like, I, I don't know what I should do there. <laughs> I spent hours just grinding this, only to be thwarted at some point near the end. And considering all the runs I did, it was only a matter of time until I made a mistake of my own. Oh, oh did I stop him with a pipe bomb? You can do that? No, no, not an International Women's Month, I swear. I'm not that bad, I'm not that bad. <laughs> no. Wait, why am I not dead? Oh, fuck, I'm canceled. Oh. Oh, dude. All right. I got a plan. 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 I, this is how I'm going to redeem myself, okay? Every single time I die to a witch from now on, I'm going to donate $5 to a women's charity. That Them's the rules. We'll follow up with that again later. At the end of the day yesterday, I tried going fast through the level instead of carefully like I had been. This just resulted in me turbo inting to 118 deaths, so we don't have to go over it, but there were some aspects about it that actually worked. I found out that if I got to a good spot quickly enough and waited for the horde, my teammates were way less likely to lose tons of health. With this in mind, I went into day 7 aching to try out this strategy. And as soon as the second run, I started to see some results. Okay, whoa, wait, if my team all the way over here. Okay, Ellis, you got this? Get up. All right, nobody panic, but this is like easily the farthest I've ever made it with everyone still alive. We're gonna, we're gonna try and do this right now. Oh, there's a board coming. Okay, hold on. Right. What? Are you fucking. Okay. I don't know if any of my. Ellis! Ellis! Ellis, please! Ellis, team! 
Oh my boy, he stuck the revive. I can appreciate that. But what the fuck? I hit it. Okay, we do this. Get in corner. Should be fine as long as I don't alert the witch over there. So I have to throw the pipe bomb anywhere else. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Where the hell did all of these enemies come from? Okay. Oh, they're climbing up from there. Jesus. Okay, start now. Whoa, why me? Oh, thank God. Uh, there's a lot going on here. How are there more enemies already? Holy. Wait, everyone in. Okay. Ooh, wait, hold on, hold on. This is the farthest I've ever made it. No one panic. Everyone Jesus, panic, honestly, but this is scary. Wait, is this only like the halfway point? Wait, please, God, no. <laughs> Not like this. Uh, I'm trying to find like the best way to go into this corn maze and nothing's nothing's nothing standing out to me here i'm not gonna lie to you i might just make a break for it okay that's not helpful okay coach is dead that's also not great oh don't do that oh i'm dead okay where the f am i supposed to go <laughs> For reference, the gas station I died in front of was the safe room, but like in Dead Center, my lack of map knowledge robbed me mere feet from the finish line. I wasn't really bothered by this though, as my new plan got me past a part that I thought was impossible. I was, however, more upset when for the next two hours I had the worst Left 4 Dead luck known to man. No! Guys. Guys, come on! Literally, I get grabbed by one jockey, and it's GG. That's insane. No, come on. Hit, hit, punch me, punch me, punch me, punch me. There's no way they're just gonna. Oh, thank God. That was about to be so livid. You have no idea. All right, never mind. I'm livid again. <laughs> God, no, not like this. No! Dude, that's not fair! <laughs> oh, I got I got pushed into it. That's not my fault. That was accidental misogyny. <laughs> After countless deaths, it was getting pretty close to being another whole stream dedicated to one level. Now, I am a monogamist, but this was starting to get ridiculous. That's why once I had another chance at the crops, I wasn't gonna let this opportunity pass me by. Oh, don't tell me there's a smoker. No! Dude, don't f***ing tell me. They might be able to catch up. They might be able to catch up, Copium. They might be able to catch up, Copium. Copium! They might be able to catch up, Copium. They are catching up! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! God. <laughs> oh my god, I'm free. After five plus hours of attempts over two days, Hard Rain Chapter 2 was in the books. The next two chapters involved doing the previous two in reverse, and the final chapter was another giant holdout. Considering I only had 30 minutes left to stream, I thought that I'd maybe beat the next chapter and then just call it a day. Well, as you can assume, that didn't happen. Instead, I beat all three. Chapter three became really easy once I used the platforms instead of going through the puddles. Chapter four was just a nice walk over to the safe room. And for chapter five, I just held out on the roof and managed to take out all the smokers. I have no idea if any of this is necessarily replicable, but I literally do not care. Campaign three was done and it was time to celebrate. By the way, the final witch startle count was seven. And with a generous extra $100 from chat, $135 was donated to women's charity. We've now arrived at campaign four, which is the parish. And things started off in a way that basically summarizes this entire playthrough thus far. And I mean, so far this is going okay. I haven't gotten hit yet. That, that's already a better start than usual. Let me tell you, Chad. Okay. Despite the concussion and loss of any little goodwill I had left, the rest of the chapter was pretty simple. This, however, was immediately corrected by the beginning of chapter two. Uh, all right, everyone's getting down. This is not good. <laughs> I appreciate it. I need to focus for a second, but I appreciate the cause. Whoa, no! Not the fuck? Oh, this is chaos. 
bro. <laughs> we literally just got out of the safe room. Play a tune. What music do zombies like? <laughs> do they prefer the musical stylings of Rob Zombie? Honestly, yeah, that's Rex. Playing Dragula with the infected's heads did actually work, however. And after making it through a park, I arrived at this trailer. Opening it sets off an alarm and waves of enemies keep coming until you rush to turn it off. I think the worst part about this, though, is even after all I've been through, I was still overconfident. Okay. Ugh, let's do some stretching here, chat, okay? We're about to run the best race I've ever done in my life. I gotta make sure I'm in tip-top shape. I'm actually gonna beat Usain Bolt's record in the 100 meter every 100 meters I run. It's going to be insane, trust me. Okay, well, I'm going to run fast. I'm gonna hope that my teammates do the same, and if they don't, I'm gonna leave them behind. What in the f Okay, well, I may have used that too soon. Okay, so I need to stick with my team. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. We're all good. And, and we're not fine. Ow. I know I'm trying. <laughs> alarm is off. How are there still enemies coming? I turned off the alarm. Where's the noise coming from? <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, what I'm realizing is that I needed to keep going, and this is not good. Okay. What do you mean they keep coming, dude? I thought it was over once the alarm was done. Uh, that's my bad. <laughs> well, at least I took some responsibility. So I guess the overconfidence wasn't the worst part. Now the worst part was when I died, I had to do the beginning section again with AI teammates that eat corn the long way. Now let's get back inside. Ellis? Ellis? <laughs> Ellis, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, guys. I ended up dying a few more times at the trailer section, one of which was due to a map knowledge skill diff, which I was all too familiar with at this point. Where the f am I supposed to go? <laughs> Into the market? Where was the market? <laughs> I got so lost. Went the wrong way. I know. Where do I go? I've never played this game. <laughs> But regardless, I managed to get through eventually and finish the chapter. The next level is arguably the hardest one in the campaign, but I wouldn't have thought that at first. You have to go through a town, down a very dark sewer, and the part that I was least good at, the car lot. Oh, great. <laughs> Dude, what? Like, what? <laughs> what else was I supposed to do there? <laughs> After sneaking by, all that's left in the level is the graveyard. The layout shifts every attempt, but there's no event here. That being the case, there was a chance I could get this first try. All I had to do was run. No, not like this. Charger! Whoa! There's the safe house. What? Who? Fuck! <laughs> no fucking way! The charger went the complete opposite direction. Where the hell did? Where did he come from? That's bullshit. <laughs> With what is now becoming a common occurrence, I died right before the safe room again. And just like the last two times, it took me the length of Queen Elizabeth's reign to get back. In the meantime, however, please enjoy this other dumb stuff that happens until we make our return. I'll gladly take that. Do not shoot any of the cars. Don't worry, I'm way out of you. Son of a bitch. What? You can't get on, all right. <laughs> Now, uh, apparently you can't climb the cars either, chat. Uh, that's, a, that's a new one for me. What the? No one informs me of this, bro. <laughs> what the hell a tank growls. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Great. <laughs> I sure am a left for dead enjoyer, chatters. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Guys? We good? We're obviously not good. I'm down. He tell <laughs> That's not my fault. That is absolutely not my fault. <laughs> God damn it. Poor, El Don't poor Ellis me. <laughs> but with that out of the way, let's see how I did on safe room attempts too. Oh my, I almost choked. You see that, Shatters? Oh my god. They can't stop me, Hunter. 
that guy. Charger, fuck that guy. Spitter, uh, we respect women here. Oh my God, my heart is racing. <laughs> my heart hurts. When I started chapter four, there were two things that gave me a lot of grief. There was this tank whose rocks defied the laws of physics. Uh-oh. Suck okay. it what? That went through the wall, bro! <laughs> and this parade float we had to wait for as hordes of enemies ruined my day. There's a spitter. No f***ing way! You guys... Are you kidding me, dude? I... Eventually, I was able to get past both of these, but I was in dire straits. And the horrible realization I came to was that this was only the halfway point. Where is the end of the mission? <laughs> I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Lord have mercy on me. I am so scared. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, slow and steady, still and steady, still and steady, slow and steady, still and, slow and steady. The boomer's in the safe room. <laughs> To die. Guys. All right, I have to close it. I'm sorry. Holy shit, I think she made it. That sucks. That sucks. Now my teammates have no health. God damn it. Somehow, I was able to stumble through the finish line at death's door. And despite my teammates having no health, it was actually fine as there were two bundles of med kits in the next starting room. This campaign finale requires you to cross a large bridge to get to a helicopter on the other side. You basically have to go fast. But the problem with that is the tank waiting at the halfway point. His instant downing rocks and cars will ruin any chance you have at climbing the trucks nearby. This was so close to the end, however. I really just had to keep pushing, get one good run, and capitalize. All right, so the tank should be coming up, which means I'm about to... Okay, there he is. <laughs> what? Wait, why am I alive? What the f <laughs> What am I supposed to do in this situation? <laughs> what the f is... I kept getting in my cars. Dude, like, I just, I just need the tank to get the f out of the way. Oh, wait. Oh, that was another throwable. Oh, get me out. <laughs> No, what? What sort of angle was that? <laughs> Some of the teams that got upset. Yeah, you think the uh, University of Virginia okay. would actually All hire right, on that go. tank as like a coach? Because yeah, god damn, does he get buckets? Let me tell you. We just had to find our Zen spot, chat. Okay, right? We just have to. We just have to believe. And I need to see the belief in chat. I believe if we just all put our hands together. Please, bridge section of the parish. I beg of you to let me through. Not have many zombies in my way and not have a tank ruin my day. All I require is your mercy and a victory. Snay men. Oh, there's the tank. <laughs> oh, that's the rock. That's the rock. No rocks in my socks. No rocks in my. All right. No rocks in my socks. No. What the? F Who caught up to me? Oh, no. I can't move. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm doing my best! <laughs> no rocks in my so- uh oh There's no- That could've- Let's fucking go! Oh my god, my brain hurts. <laughs> Oh, what a win. Did you see that rock? <laughs> that, if I kept moving forward, the tank would have killed me from all the way up there, bro. That was insane. After the greatest juke I'll ever pull off in my life, there was only one campaign left to go. Now, my friends, it's time to save Private Chomsky. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you all. I am a giant wuss. And I was so certain that I wouldn't be able to do this that for the first few attempts, I brought in some viewers as duo partners. This did not go very well. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was an infected chat, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And so, I decided to just suck it up and go for it myself. Dark Carnival starts off by going over a highway, through a motel, and down into a creek. This campaign actually mirrored the start of the last one, even the charger part. I'm definitely getting hit by a charger in a sec. I guarantee it. Yep. <laughs> I 
Could do it. But that also meant I got through this level with no trouble at all. Completing this chapter led me into the carnival proper, which meant it was time to rescue my tiny friend from captivity. For the gnome achievement, you have to carry Chomsky all the way to the end of the campaign. You can drop him to shoot, but finding him afterwards is another ordeal altogether. I feel like what killed me the most in this chapter was the fact that it's long and Horde showed up every 30 seconds. But what killed me the funniest was when I tried Goomba stomping the infected. These drugs wear off, which is not great. What the f is happening to me? What? <laughs> Did I die to fall damage? How <laughs> I was surfing like it was CSGO, bro. God damn it. <laughs> The last hurdle here will be the carousel. You pull a switch, trigger an alarm, and have to run while infected swarm you. Since you have to go fast, you no longer have the luxury of dropping the gnome to shoot and picking it up later. That's already bad enough, but what makes it worse is that you need a little bit of luck too. The witch is right next to that control panel, bro! Come on! Where's the gate though? It's right in front of the fucking witch. I don't know. Dude, I can't get next to the witch is the only issue. I can't move. Yeah. Oh, dude, like, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. <laughs> On my second attempt, though, I had good luck when all the infected randomly decided to go after Ellis. I don't know what kind of Z-rated stuff Ellis was doing to take the heat off me, but I'll gladly take it. This, however, would be the last piece of luck I'd see for the entire stream, because now we have reached what I consider to be the hardest chapter in the entire game. Oh, no. No, these guys are idiots. How why'd you drop down there instead of where I was? This is safe. What? No, I'm dead. Dude, what the fuck? My teammates just threw. That's crazy. This was going so well. You know, they say love hurts. And Dark Carnival's Tunnel of Love hurt any hope I had of finishing this campaign. There were thin sections packed with enemies, open ones that made the AI forget the I in their name, and of course, the roller coaster that gave me no space to juke out anyone in front of me. Each of these alone would have already given me trouble, but all of them together made the rest of my day absolutely miserable. <laughs> Guys, please. What? Dude, there's no fucking way. Dude. Nick, if you can just hit it. Nick. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so stupid. Uh, why am I taking damage? <laughs> Pain. Wait, there's no way. Is there a witch over here too? That's crazy. Oh, right in front of, yep. Classic. You know what? Honestly, I'm just gonna take the L here. Uh... <laughs> what? Oh, this is a sign to go on, I assume, chat. All right, well, it's time, chat. Once again, for good old gnome time, wish me luck. What the fuck? What? How the f did that even get? How did he even get there? I can't move. I can move. Oh, dude, why? This is so much farther away than I thought it would be. Is that a dude? Dude, like, holy! F I can't move. Ah! Oh no! Wait, my health. Where did it all go? Dude, holy shit! Are you serious? Damn it, I think the spitter must have got me just then and I didn't have enough speed. That's crazy. I didn't know this at the time, but on the last attempt, I could have just ran to the safe room instead of towards the alarm. That meant I had choked away another run due to lack of knowledge. But unlike when this happened before, I didn't have to spend hours replaying the level to get back. I had to spend hours playing multiple levels to get back. Previously, due to time constraints, how I'd been continuing unfinished campaigns day to day was by using chapter select and damaging everyone until they had their health from before. Since chapter selects didn't carry over the gnome though, I had to replay everything to get back to where I was. This pain was also enhanced when, for whatever reason, the first two easy chapters suddenly became impossible. Oh, no tank too? Okay, we need to, I need to make use of this. You know, finish this bit. No way. <laughs> there is no way. There is no way! How do you have that kind of an angle? <laughs> yeah. 
You're kidding me. Guys, one person is all I ask to revive me. Uh, Nicholas! No way. <laughs> we actually lose this. There's, that's crazy. <laughs> no one got me up after priority. That's so fucking stupid. 17 unnecessary deaths later, I was able to make it back. Of course, I continued to die repeatedly once I got back here, but I was determined to get this done. So I kept grinding and grinding until it finally paid off. I can't do anything. I gotta hope for the best. What the f***? No. Not a f***ing jockey, man. Anything but a jockey. Uh, maybe a smoker would have sucked even worse, actually. Please murder Nick, please murder Nick, please murder Nick, please murder Nick. Oh, thank God, okay. Yes! New PB, baby! <laughs> Let's go! We didn't have to turn off the alarm. I learned from Friday. We're knowledgeable. Let's fucking go! Cool. I had now conquered the hardest mission in the game. Everything should have been downhill from here, but unfortunately, the two chapters after this were also very hard. Chapter 4 was deceptively easy for 90% of it, especially after I found out I could throw the gnome over this fence and it would land right before the safe room. Due to tech issues, I couldn't update my death counter until the end of the run, but at the rate I was getting through this chapter, it appeared as if I wouldn't need to. Then, we get to this part. Gates are open, run to the safe room, aye aye, give me a second. I'm waiting for the horde to like, stop. I don't know if it will though, is the only issue. Oh my god. I mean, like... <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I'm just dead. What? In, like, what universe is this no... <laughs> Once this holdout ends, you're met with an impenetrable wall of flesh. It's such a ridiculously hard part that even if you don't make a mistake, there's no guarantee you'll actually survive it. After a sizable amount of attempts, I genuinely thought I would be stuck on this level and once again have to restart my campaign. I was pretty down at this point, knowing that I may have to spend hours on this again tomorrow. All I could really do now, however, was give it a few more tries. Oh no you don't. No way I didn't kill the boomer. No. Oh no, there's a witch! That's some what okay. Well there's literally every special infected across the sun here too. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think there was any way I was doing that. <laughs> Oh my, I'm actually gonna die here. Oh no, dude, are you fucking serious? <laughs> no, why were there so many in front of the door? <laughs> kinda have to take that, really. Oh my god. Bro, five? With the most powerful one? That's crazy. These, these clowns are, what the hell is these dudes eating for breakfast? God damn, lots of cream pies. Not, not like that. I mean, <laughs> you know, you know how the clowns get. Yeah, never mind. Oh my god. What? There was just a hunter. No! There was just a hunter. I literally just killed a hunter two seconds ago. Nicholas, help me! I don't know how Nick did that. I mean, I'm glad. Nick, we gotta go! All right, Nick, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Nicholas! My fucking hero! Let's hear it for our boy! 
Your sacrifice will not be in vain, my brother. I got the gnome too, I didn't forget. Holy shit, King! <laughs> Saint Nick had saved the run, and suddenly I was on the final chapter of the entire playthrough. This finale has you light up the stage and hold out until a helicopter arrives. It really gave me a glimpse of what it was like to be a bodyguard at a Taylor Swift concert, and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, what? Oh my, you. <laughs> Suck my dick. Oh my god. How is that possible? I hope that it doesn't get Rochelle. That's all I ask for. <laughs> Team? You do realize you're not supposed to run into the mods. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know, that you know, now that I think about it, it's actually pretty reasonable that you ran into the Molotov, I'm not gonna lie. I would place the gnome where the helicopter might spawn and tried holding out everywhere I could think of, but nothing seemed to be working. My mental was so boomed by this point that I even started to die in the bathrooms on the way to the stage. That being said, I was so close to accomplishing what I thought would be impossible. And if there's one thing I know about myself, it's that I'm too dumb to quit. Okay, coming from this direction, that's fine. Oh, there's a jockey. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay, that got the charger at least, but not exactly what I was hoping for. Oh my! Please to go to the left. Please go to the left. The left! Come on, come on, Nick, 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 just die, Nick, just die. Yes! Yes, let's go! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> All right, we have ended with. Two hundred and forty-three! Woo! <laughs> Solo expert realism was finally over. And of course, our gnome friend was now safe too. The full run should be up on my second channel in the coming week. But in the meantime, if you want to see how I fared on the Left 4 Dead 1 maps, then you should check out this video. I'm also streaming all these challenges live on Twitch. So if you want to watch the chaos in real time, then follow me there as well. With that, I'll see you all in the next one.